to our saxophone end of year concert. The Royal College of Music Junior Department Saxophone Ensemble and Saxophone Quartet have worked on five projects, each exploring ensemble music making in a different way. You just heard Jasmine, Kian, Rosemary and Jack play the fanfare from Elliot Carter's Canonic Suite. It's written for four alto saxophones, <clears throat> so we spent time in our online sessions working together to create a cohesive sound. They then went and recorded their own version of the fanfare, and they were able to interpret it the way they wanted. They could choose their own speed or add any rubato they thought was appropriate. And it was important that they didn't use a click track to make their recording. These then became the guide parts to which the other members of the quartet were expected to add in their own part. And gradually over time, all four parts were added in to all four versions of the canonic suite. It was really important that as they added their part, they reacted to the guide recording rather than the way they had originally imagined it when they created their guide recording. It was an interesting task of listening and responding, plus having to drop into a part without the additional help of a click track. You just heard one of the versions that they produced. In Saxophone Ensemble, their first project was to start to think about sound in a different way. The ensemble were working independently of each other and initially not in an online session. I gave each of them a page from Cornelius Cardew's treatise. This is a graphic score of 193 pages and I wanted them to interpret just the single page that I gave them. I gave them a guide to help them to think about sound in a different way. And some sound variables I told them to think about were the physical, timbre, or the use of emotion in thinking about sound. Cardew had studied with Stockhausen and John Cage, and he was in his experimental period in the 1960s when he wrote Treatise. You can really see from the score that he was a typographer and he was working as a design assistant at the time. He said of Treatise, I wrote Treatise with the definite intention that it should stand entirely on its own, with no form of introduction or instruction to mislead prospective performers into the slavish practice of doing what they are told. You're going to hear Jess, Harry, Johnny, Ellie, Jack, Rosemary and Jasmine interpret their page from Cardew's treatise. There's no wrong way to interpret it and this is what they produced.
I found it really fascinating to hear the different interpretations from the seven members of the saxophone ensemble. Following on from their treatise project, we started to work online together and I gave them a, another score, which was also a graphic score to work on, which was Three Angels by Kenneth Wilkinson. Now, although this is a graphic score as well, there's recognisable music notation used in this in the form of fingerings, like you would see in a fingering chart, and also a melodic line written on a standard stave. It's in three parts, and I worked with all the members of the ensemble on all of the three parts. Um, we worked for part three, 
we worked on creating multiphonic sounds, like playing more than one note at once. For part two, we worked on key clicks, making percussive sounds on the saxophone. And then for part one, which is the melody, I asked them all to interpret the melody as they saw fit. Now there were two things for them to use as guides. So unlike the treatise, this was a little bit more structured. And the guides were the melody on the stave, which had a use of articulation and an, applied, an implied sense of space. And also the composer's description, who describes the melody as haunting and distant. Having gathered in all the recordings from the members of the ensemble, the composer then took those ideas and used those to layer up the three parts, choosing Ellie to play the melodic line that you hear as the soloist. And here is their performance of Three Angels by Kenneth Wilkinson.
The saxophone quartet's second project was working as a soprano, alto, tenor and baritone saxophone quartet, which is the standard instrumentation. This meant more time in our online sessions thinking about tone matching and agreeing length of articulations, particularly for the piece that I chose for their second project. Carol Beffer's Fireworks is a four movement work and I asked the quartet to record the first movement. Of Fireworks, the composer writes, the first movement unfolds in swaying, recurrent, arabesque-like waves that create a sense of swell. I wanted the resulting kaleidoscope of harmonies to suggest an imaginary choreography. He also says, every movement is driven by a sense of urgency. This music is less about feelings and more about sensations. For this, we did use a click track um, it's made of repeated semiquaves that pass around the quartet very, very particularly. So the click track was subdivided into semiquavers to ensure a sense of precision and to make sure the parts would line up as well as the melodic line passing along through the parts. Now this was a really intense project. It was a demanding work with nowhere to hide. And it's a nearly four minute work, which the members of the quartet recorded with no editing at all. And here's their video.
The saxophone quartet can be very proud of their performance of fireworks. It's been an unusual summer term, but I've been very impressed with the way my students have worked together online to listen and to discuss and then work independently to create their recordings. It was important to me that we didn't just use click tracks. I wanted to give them the chance to listen and respond in a way that we do when we're all together. Our final piece from Saxophone Ensemble is Vi by Royal College of Music alumnus Charlotte Harding. Charlotte is a saxophonist as well as a composer and her works draw influence from classical folk and jazz music. Vi was commissioned by the Love Music Trust Saxophone Ensemble and Charlotte kindly gave me permission to interpret her composition by adding a backing track. I'm featuring my graduating students from the saxophone ensemble, Jasmine on lead soprano, Jess on lead alto, and Johnny on lead tenor. You'll hear jazz solo improvisations from them, as well as from Rosemary and Harry. Thank you for listening.